Hello, in this video, we will introduce basic graph terminologies. A graph is a very simple structure. It consists of a set of vertices and a set of edges connecting vertices. This chapter does not assume that the reader has any prior knowledge of graph theory or discrete mathematics. We use plain and simple terms to define graphs. A graph consists of a set of vertices, also called nodes or points, and a set of edges that are connecting the vertices. So for convenience, we define a graph as VE. So here, using this notation, G equals VE. And V represents a set of vertices and E represents a set of edges. For example, we have this is V, a set of vertices, and this is E, a set of edges. So here's edge from Seattle to San Francisco, from Seattle to Chicago, from Seattle to Denver, from San Francisco to Denver. A graph may be directed or undirected. In a directed graph, each edge has a direction. So for example, this is a directed graph and this is an undirected graph. So there's no edge between the two vertices. Edges may be wetted or unwetted. For example, you may assume the you have that um, the uh, US map, you have all the cities here. You may assign a weight on the edge representing the distance between the two cities. <clears throat> two vertices in a graph are said to be adjacent if they are connected by the same edge. So this here, a and D is adjacent. A and E are adjacent because they're connected by the same edge. An edge in a graph that joins two vertices is said to be incident to both vertices. The degree of a vertex is the number of edges incident to it. So what is the degree of this A, it's four, there's four edges. What is the degree of this B, there's only one edge? Two vertices are neighbors if they are adjacent. Similarly, two edges are neighbors if they are adjacent. A loop is an edge that links a vertex to itself. If two vertices are connected by two or more edges, these edges are called parallel edges. A simple graph is the one that has no loops or parallel edges. A complete graph is the one in which every two vertices are adjacent, as shown in this example. This is a complete graph, so every two vertices are adjacent. A graph is connected if there exists a path between every two vertices in the graph. A subgraph of a graph G is a graph whose vertices, vertex set is a subset of that G and whose edge is a subset of that graph. So for example here in this figure right here, so this is a subgraph here in the C of this graph in B. Assume that the graph is connected and undirected. A spanning tree of a graph is a subgraph that is a tree and it connects all vertices in the graph. So let's look at this animation. We can add more vertices and add age, add age. So here we're going to have a starting from two and find the uh, shortest pass from two to five. So this is the shortest pass. 
and we will look at other applications, depth post search and breast post search in this chapter. And also for the connected components and find a cycle as exercise in this chapter. See you on the next video.